everyone, Lutz Lounge here. In this video, I want to show you how to do a simple sky replacement in your video clips. Uh, so we have this this uh, video right here, and I want to take this video and replace it with this sky. So basically, um, this is uh, just kind of a, a windy windy scene right here. Very very easy because the camera is not moving a lot, which this technique doesn't really matter if the camera is moving at all, but. Uh, just a very simple scene. Uh, I'm going to show you how to key out the current sky, put in the new sky, and then finesse it a little bit to where everything blends in very nicely. So again, this technique is very, very easy. Uh, there's no need to draw any masks or anything like that. We're going to do it very simple just to show you the basics of doing simple sky replacements in Final Cut Pro. So the first thing we need to do is get our clip. So I have this clip is my base clip and my again my clip uh, my sky clip is right here and you can see it's just a fast moving um, a fast moving sky. So we're going to take this clip and make it active. And now what we're going to do is duplicate the clip. So we're just going to hold Alt on your keyboard and drag this up. Um, and there we go. So now we have two of the basic uh, same clips here. We're going to take this clip and deactivate it by clicking the V key on your keyboard. And then we're just going to work on this one right here. So now we're going to go over to our effects panel and we're going to go to keying and we're going to go to luma key and we're just going to drag that over. So now uh, we can see our sky is kind of coming through on the bottom. So what we just need to do is get rid of that. Click V on that one as well to hide it. So now go back to our main base clip and we're going to go over here to our luma keyer right here. And the, your goal here is to get the sky as black as possible um, and the foreground as white as possible. Uh, and the, anything that's basically black in this image or this video clip is going to be removed. Uh, so what we need to do is dr drag these sliders up. So I'm going to drag this one over a little bit, the white slider, and then drag this one over as well. You can start to see we're already getting a little bit of black. Drag this one over again, this one over again. Get a little bit more black added, see how that goes. Maybe drag this one in and you can see now we're starting to get a lot more black. The video clip does have mountains back there, but uh, we're going to try to bring those in a little bit later. So if they do disappear, it's not that big of a deal. So we're just going to drag this in. There we go. And if we go to our matte uh, view here, we can see that our sky is black and our foreground is pretty much white. And so that will do a little bit better. So we can see we, actually this person that's standing in the clip has a little bit of black in their neck here right there. We're going to take that away. No big deal. So roughly this is how I want it to look. So now we're going to go back to our view again. We're going to clip, click on the composite here. So this is what our scene looks like. Now if we were to toggle on our sky layer with the V key again, you can see now our sky is replaced. But we have a lot of sky that's kind of showing up in the, uh, in the foreground here uh, where the black was kind of blending in uh, through our luma key. So now we're going to take our uh, top layer, our duplicated layer, and click V on there and bring that back. And we're now we're going to go to our masking. So down to our effects panel, go to masks. And you can choose two different ones here. Um, you can choose shape mask or gradient mask. It, it, there's there's pros and cons to both. Uh, I kind of maybe go lean towards more to the shape mask. It's just a little bit easier to move around. So you have this shape right here, and now you can just click this out, drag it to where it extends past the uh, the clip. Drag this one down as well. So basically, you're just bringing in that sky. You're dragging this down to roughly right around there and now it's taking everything uh, and bringing it back in the sky. So now we need to go back to our middle layer, our, our base layer, and now we need to play with this a little bit to remove it from uh, the person or everything where it's not uh, being uh, deleted from our gradient. So now we're going to take this in, play with the whites a little bit, bit right there, play with the blacks a little bit, try to bring that back and there we go. So now we are pretty much, pretty much done. So this is how it looks here. So you can see it's just following in there. You can see a little bit of the sky or the little bit of the mountains coming in there. So what we can do is play around with that as well to either bring them back or remove them. However you want to do it, make it a little bit less dramatic. It's always, always up to you and how you see your video clips but I'm going to keep it just like that. So that is a basic sky replacement. Uh, so if you want to see how that looks, here is the before with the normal sky and here is the after with our replaced sky. 
So hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial in Final Cut Pro. Head on over to LutzLounge.com for more tutorials, more LUTs, all kinds of fun stuff over there. Thank you guys for joining me in this one, and I hope to see you in the next video.